Welcome to Thursday Night Basketball on 2K Sports. Glad to have you along. In this game, we'll see the Boston Celtics going up against the Los Angeles Lakers. With Hall of Famers Grant Hill and Doris Burke, this is Brian Anderson, plus our reporter, Ali LaForce. All right, a moment to check out some numbers for Rui Achimura. He's been really dialed in from deep during these last five games, looking assertive and in control every time he rises up to shoot from beyond the three-point line, and it's been fun to watch. Here are the five for the Lakers. It's LeBron at power forward with AD as the center. D'Lo and Reeves are the backcourt duo. And it's Prince in at the three. And for Boston, White and Brown with the two and the three. Kristaps Porzingis out there with Jason Tatum. And it's Holiday in at the one. A cross-conference rivalry between these two teams, Grant. A sign of some high-level basketball in their past. Well, you think about finals history. I mean, that's when the East meets the West in the playoffs. So, sure to expect some fireworks here tonight. It'll be the Celtics off the tip. Brown against Prince. On the wing, Holiday. Outside Tatum. Porzinga sets a screen. Tatum passes to White. Just five on the clock. Let's the three fly. Rebound the Lakers. They come into this one following the loss to Atlanta. It really just wasn't a fun game for them. Their offense looked stagnant, and they couldn't get anything going. I thought they were outworked and outplayed in just about every phase of the game. Maybe that's one of those situations where you say, hey, let's move on. Now here's White. Really played well against Indiana in his last game. Brown against Prince. Outside Russell. Pass to Davis. That falls. Nice assist by Russell. Yeah, between his length and touch, Davis is the perfect interior player. On the wing, Tatum. Back to Holiday. Here's White. Porzingis sets a screen. White can't hit. Davis, the pass to Russell. And here's James. 14 feet away. And Davis gets it to go on the assist by James. Now you want to get him going as soon as possible. Great way for him to start this game. He's a guy who, if he gets hot, he can carry your offense for long stretches. Now here's Brown. He had a big outing in that Pacers game as well. Now this is why they call him the unicorn. Porzingis off the catch, ready to rise and fire. That's seven foot three, everybody. James against Tatum. James outside. He drops it from range. You know, outstanding start. You've made three of your first four. Now, if you're just tuning in, we've played about two and a half minutes here at the first. Well, Doris, when he's off the court, Jalen Brown is an outspoken advocate for education. What I love about Jalen B.A. is that he's about so much more than basketball. This young man has a passion for learning. It's a very admirable cause he has tried to be outspoken for. You love the superstar level effort between the lines and outside the lines. Boy, the offensive flow just isn't there right now. One for five to start the game. Tries it from the top of the key. Porzingis grabs the board. And so it's Brown with it. He brings it up for Boston. Four-point game. Fresh off a win against the Pacers. They were really able to exploit that defense. I mean, getting almost any shot they wanted. It was that easy. Give them some credit. I'll tell you this. They caught an opponent on a very off night defensively, and you take advantage. Simple as that. Now, here is James. 20 points for him last game against Atlanta. And his court vision was sensational as well. He was making all the right decisions. Here's James. 
Soft touch off the glass. James has got five points. There aren't a lot of ways to slow up LeBron James in the pick and roll. Even if you defend it perfectly, he can find a way to score. Now here's Tatum. He had a 30-point outing in their last game against Indiana. And you know, guys, the other thing I really appreciated about his effort in that game was the effort and work on the glass. What a well-rounded performance. Well, the past few years, Jason Tatum has made a concerted effort to attack the rim. VA, he has gotten stronger. He has gotten more aggressive. Even with his offhand, Tatum is now special at finishing around the rim. You love this about him. He methodically attacks his weaknesses in order to become complete. Well, what's impressive to me about Jason Tatum is how he attacks his weaknesses in the offseason. This guy is committed to greatness. Ooh, took him no time at all to get that one. James has got his third bucket of the night. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Holiday against Russell. Porzingis with a screen on James. Tatum passes to Porzingis. Shot clock at five. Here's Holiday. Tried to bank it in, but it misses. Listen, he knows he should have made that shot. We'll see if they can work it back to him in that same area. Back to James. And Porzingis with the block. Porzingis 7-3 says not. James against Tatum. Outside Holiday. Back to Tatum. The outside leaner. And it's good. First late shot in four attempts. Yeah, you have to be able to take mid-range jumpers at times. I know it's not a high-value shot, but for Tatum, sometimes that's what the defense gives him. Now, here is James. Give him eight. Pass to Prince. Here's Reeves. He's guarded by White. Back to Reeves. The three ball. And Davis slams it home. And the length is hard to contend with. Davis using all of it for the putback points there. Brown with it. No made baskets yet. Basket counts. Well, that's not exactly the most solid screen you'll see, but it still works. Los Angeles has gone two for four from range to start things off. On the wing, Reeves. Pass to Prince. Davis a screen. James passes to Prince. Now, here is James. From downtown, and it's Prince with the three. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. Boston's gone one for five from three-point range. A cold start. Holiday surveying the floor. Here's Tatum. Oh, an amazing finish with a hand right in his face. Tatum's gotten a second bucket on the night. Los Angeles has gone three for five from deep so far in this matchup. James passes to Russell. Off target. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. The Celtics have gone 4 of 10 shooting the rock in this first quarter. Three-pointer holiday. Rebound the Lakers. Last time they met in Los Angeles. I really think that L has to fall on their defense or a lack thereof. Just not enough focus at that end of the floor. Well, the kind of low energy effort they played with all night will make a coach absolutely crazy. You can't win if you don't play quality defense. Now here's White. Still no points. Outside Holiday. Pass to Brown. Launches it. Davis with a rebound. Davis has got four rebounds now. Now James. And here's Davis. It's Prince on the wing. Defended by Porzingis. The three, James, buries it from three. James has got 11 points. What a way to begin this game. 
dominating at both ends of the floor. And give them credit for approaching this game with the right energy and intensity. This team has attacked every chance they've gotten. So Boston going with almost an entire new group here. Cornette's checked in for Porzingis. Al Horford comes in for Jason Tatum. Hauser, he's checked in for White. And Pritchard is subbed in for Holiday. And the Lakers will go for a different look here. Vanderbilt's checked in for James. Hachimura comes in for Prince. Christie's checked in for Reeves. And it's Mays in for Russell. Here's Mays. He's averaging about six points per game. Pass to Davis. Here's Mays. Oh, there's the alley! And here we go, the Celtics on the run. Hauser, that's good. That'll definitely steal away some momentum. Stripping them of the ball and then grabbing the bucket. There's 57 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Here's Christie. That's in there. Davis with the assist. They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. Offensively, it's been a struggle for them. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Brown can't hit. And they've come out with a fearless approach on the boards. Hachimura, the pass to Mays. Back to Davis. And Davis slams it home. And early on, they've been on a tear. Just getting whatever they want offensively. Well, what I love is the game plan has been solid from the opening tip. And guys are making their shots. That's critical. Now here's Brown. He's guarded closely. Screen by Horford. Let's it go. Brown gets the bucket. Well, the versatility he possesses makes him a very tough cover, guys. And so it's Los Angeles. They lead by 11 as the quarter comes to a close. Their work from distance has been impressive, and it's put them in this lead right now. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. So far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for Los Angeles. Well, we're in the era of the three-point basket. So if you want to win games in this league, you have to connect from deep. And they have been thus far. Yeah, and in addition, their ball movement has oh, really oh, unleashed oh, their oh, offense. Boy, they've three, been fun to watch. They've got Peyton Pritchard, Jason Tatum out there with Al Horford. Then there's Delano Banton. And it's Hauser in at the small forward position. That's who's in the game for the Celtics. Now here's Tatum. Off target on the outside leaner. I don't know if he's trying to show off for the crowd or what, but there's no reason for that kind of shot. Doris, you think about how the Celtics are built. They make shrewd personnel choices year after year. They have historically drafted very well. I think the challenge for the Boston Celtics and all organizations, the new implications of the salary cap and player personnel deal. Building teams may look different going forward. And that was our AT&T 5G Slam Cam, bringing you the sauce. James has gone six of eight from the field. Pass to Horford. And we played through the first minute here in the second. Oh, getting it done. Horford gets it to go. I love it when Al Horford is challenging defenders to stay with him. Use your physicality, big man. Here's James, pounded by Tatum. And James throws it down. That is why the ticket price is what it is when LeBron is in town. Amazing dunk to finish the play. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. The Celtics are battle-tested and asked what comes from that experience. Jalen Brown said, quote, poise. Being able to see and read the game. Our offense has been able to take leaps by understanding the game and what they want to take away and just letting the game decide. B.A.? Yeah, yeah, that's been the key. Thanks, Allie. Makai Luke's checked in for Benton. Mays, he's checked in for the Lakers. 
The drive by Tatum. Pass to Hauser. Horford outside. They set a pick. Here's Pritchard. There's the three. Gets the three to fall. Richard's got his first three points of the game. Well, this is an example of the court awareness we talk about with Al Horford. This guy's a very willing passer. James against Tatum. Now, here is James. Guarded closely. Clock at six. Vanderbilt with a screen. Takes it inside. Robbed. And here in the second quarter of action, just a hair under two and a half minutes played. Back to Pritchard. Ooh, the lead pass was in the perfect spot to set up the layup. Pritchard's got five points. Good execution. They're getting some short-range looks here. Pass to Mays. Three-pointer. Hauser grabs the board. The Celtics have gotten three or four field goals in the second quarter. Here's Tatum. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. Yeah, he's really scrambling to keep them in this game. Gotta respect that hustle. Here's Christie. Here's Mays. No points yet. Pass to Achimura. Let's go with a three. Oh, clanks that one. He's 0 for 1 to start. Here's Mikhailuk. Guarded by Vanderbilt. Tatum passes to Pritchard. Here's Hauser. Nine points in his last outing. For three. And the Celtics another three. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. Pass to James. Down low. Now to Achimura. Here's Mays. Vanderbilt with a screen. The Lakers got to get one up. Late clock. Two open that time. Made it look easy. Three points. He's got six. Well, you can see the eagerness to contribute from Rui Hashimura. Finds the open man willing to facilitate. Pass to Makai Luke. And Grant, some players feel like certain officials have it out for them. Did you ever see any of that? You know what, B.A., the refs are human, too. Yes, I did say that. <laughs> but they're supposed to be impartial. So you go after them for a while, it's possible they will hold a grudge. I'd say a veteran shot right there. Al Horford immediately answering back with a three of his own. Go ahead, big fella. James passes to Vanderbilt. That falls. Nice feed that time from James. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. Now here's Tatum. He's got five. Over James. Tatum passes to Horford. Here's Hauser. The three is up. The shot off that time. Just enough of a shot contest to bother. To the middle. Tipped. James against Tatum. Screen by Horford. The three. Hey, Horford from range. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Here's James. 18 points for him. Pass to Vanderbilt. Out to James. Fires from deep. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Horford. Already it's February. Let's see how things look out west. Taking a look at Los Angeles. And so far, they own the ninth best record in the conference. Not where they'd like to be. When I look at the Lakers, they're really doing their best to rise through the rankings. Time will tell whether they can pull it off. You know, it's got to be frustrating for them. You can't dwell on the past. You've got to think forward, work together, and play for one another. And the Lakers making a change here. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for Vanderbilt. Prince comes in for Achimura. Reeves is checked in for Christie. And Russell is subbed in for May. 
Here's Holiday. The Lakers with a rebound. Davis has got five rebounds in the game. Pass to Russell. James outside. Here's Reeves to the inside. Out to James from deep. LeBron fires and hits a three. He's been dropping them in from downtown since the tip. Three triples in the first quarter, two more since. Outside Holiday takes the three, nails it from three. And they're in a better flow this quarter offensively, and their shooting percentage is steadily rising as a result. James against Brown. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. First team foul. At the line for the Lakers. LeBron James. One shot. And the free throw, no good. What's remarkable about LeBron is the complete command of the game. Not only his team, but you'll hear opponents joke about how well he knows their plays. Now here's Holiday. 17 points for him, last game against Indiana. And don't discount the defensive presence, guys. He racked up three blocks for the game. Well, what a job, punching the ball to the interior and finishing in the paint. Nice. Pass to Reeves. There's Davis with the three. It's rebounded by Jalen Brown. And you can tell right there, the defense is totally fine with him shooting that. That's not his game. Pritchard, the pass to Brown. With the floater, and it's blocked by Davis. And that's the wingspan of Davis at play. You think you can get the shot off, but he still reaches you. Hey, if you can't block it, sending him to the line can be the next best thing. And he makes a first. Al Horford's checked in for Boston. The line for the Lakers. Anthony Davis taking two shots. That one misses, so he goes one for two. You know, Davis is still one of the most feared defenders in the league. He's not the guy you want in front of you when you're coming down the lane. Outside, Brown, 4-3, and again, Boston with the triple. As the deep shots continue to fall, you can sense the frustration growing among these defenders. James passes to Davis. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. It's on Drew Holiday. All right, Grant, we're now in the middle of the season. Lots of miles traveled by everyone, including broadcasters. You got a favorite NBA city? Hey, B.A., you are spot on, especially when it comes to us broadcasters. But a favorite NBA city? You know, I've always liked Atlanta. That free throw good from Davis. I love it. In attack mode. Drawing foul calls this quarter and getting to the free throw line. Vanderbilt's checked in for LeBron. Austin trailing. Outside, Brown. Horford outside. Porzingis passes to White. Horford with it. Takes a three. Oh, wow. Drew the contact, and that three almost went in. So he'll go to the line for three free throws. You know, if you give him the opportunity, Al Horford will seek contact. He wants to get to the line. And Grant, you look at the longevity of Horford's career. He's done a great job reinventing himself. You know, B.A., he added the three to his game once he hit 30, and that has extended his career by changing how he plays. He still can be an X factor on any given night. Well, Al Horford, one of the most respected veterans in this league. Why? Well, he's unselfish, and it's always about team first. Now here's Russell. He's scoreless. Pass to Davis. Here's Prince. Five on the clock. Here's Russell. Good. And the Lakers lead by seven. I'll tell you, it's hard to shake his concentration when D'Angelo Russell is this close to the cup. How about that tough shot? Horford, a screen on Prince. 
Oh, look at Brown banging inside. He's been a marksman this period. Uh, the shot mechanics finally in sync. It's stolen by Holiday. Over Russell. Vanderbilt pulls it in. Vanderbilt's got four rebounds now. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the boards. And here's Horford. He'll bring it up for the Celtics. Trailing by five. Their next game playing at home as the Grizzlies come to town. And after a scoreless first quarter, he's finding his offense. The Lakers have gotten eight of 14 shots to drop so far in the second. Shot and game clock separated by five. Russell, the pass to Reeves. Davis with a screen on white. Here's Reeves. And again, the Lakers, no good. It's Brown on the wing. He's got nine. Porzingis misses. Aggressive mindset, but the defender just as determined to send him away empty-handed. The three from Russell. And oh, it goes! goes. Oh. He gets it! Wow! I love to see when those shots go in. Yeah, that's exactly how to end the half on a high note. Tacking three points onto this lead at the horn. The mood in each of those locker rooms will be very different. And so it's LeBron James making things happen for the Lakers. Helping them space the floor. Two triples in that quarter. Three for the game. We'll be right back. Hello and welcome. LeBron James in the spotlight again. He has been getting it done. I feel like we've done this a million times. Maybe a million one. Talk about LeBron having a huge first half. But the man is ageless. There's only one king, and it's him. Talking about LeBron on our halftime show. A tradition since 2003. And let's switch gears for a second, checking out social media. And we have a question here from Astronaut in Space. She asks, have any of you gotten into a fight with one of your teammates? Wonder what could have spurred that question. Well, chat, they're actually talking to you. Yeah. <laughs> Kenny? Thanks for tuning in. Now we head back to Brian Anderson for the start of the third quarter. Second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. You know, LeBron James has been exceptional here, guys. He's hit shot after shot from deep. He's so locked in right now. Well, the break certainly didn't have a cooling effect on him at all. He's in a great rhythm, looking comfortable and confident. The Lakers in the lead. And the Lakers, looking at who they've got, D'Lo and Reeves are the backcourt duo. It's LeBron at power forward with AD as the center. And it's Prince in at the three spot. Now here's Russell. Davis drawing the double team. Shot is good by Reeves. And the Lakers lead by eight. Yeah, the complete package is AD. Had the defense's attention and found the open man. Pass to White from the arc. And the Lakers with a rebound. And they just continue to dominate the boards. James, outside. Russell, a screen on Porzingis. The three, James. Holiday grabs the miss. And the Celtics shooting a solid 47%. Now here's White. Pass to Porzingis. And they double up Porzingis. Porzingis punishing inside. Repertoire of moves on the interior. KP doing work. Now, here is James. Give him 23. Russell, that's good. 
probably a play they drew up in the locker room at half. Well, there is nothing better than catching a rhythm as early as possible. And boy, that's a terrific start right there. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. Well, Jalen Brown has shown steady development over his career. He said, quote, every year presents different challenges. I think that's the fun part about basketball, that it's not the same. You've got to be flexible, you got to be durable, and you have to be able to grow with the game. Brian? Dolly, he keeps getting better and better. Thanks for that. Good stuff. Ooh, here's White on the drive. Lays it up and banks it in. White's got his first two points of the night. Boy, everyone is getting to their spots and then capitalizing. Three for four in the quarter. Beautiful. Here's Reeves. He's guarded by White. Back to Prince. Shot clock at six. High post Davis. Fades back. The rebound, Celtics. Just under two and a half minutes into this third quarter now. Brown with it, and Davis picks him up defensively. And Davis with the block. Pass to Reeves. James, outside. Back to Reeves. And here's James. And there's the rejection. That's anticipation on the defensive end by Derek White. Send it back, young sir. Holiday finds Brown. And here's White. Checked by Davis. Drew, 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 Drew. Tatum against James. Tatum passes to Porzingis. And the shot is good on the assist by Tatum. Now just a one-point Laker lead. Now, Jason Tatum has become an extraordinary passer. This guy knows the attention he draws, just gets his teammates involved. Left side, Russell. It's stolen by Holiday. In transition, here they come. Pass to Tatum. Kick out to Brown. Chance there to take the lead, but a miss. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. James passes to Prince. Russell, a screen on Brown. Here's Russell. Davis with it. Defended by Porzingis. James, outside. Oh, he can't stop the run as that misses. Tatum passes to White. For the lead. Oh, through contact. White gets the finish. There are no easy comebacks, but they really had to dig deep for this one. Yeah, to start off with so many mistakes and still now find a way where everything's working, it allows their momentum and confidence to continue to build. Porzingis with it, and Davis picks him up defensively. Now Holiday. Give him eight points now. Porzingis with a screen on Russell. Holiday. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Now it's a three-point Celtic lead. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for Boston. Their defensive intensity has served them well. It kept the offense scrambling and resulted in several steals. I think it's also important we have to acknowledge how many scoring opportunities they've created from their spectacular defense, getting a bunch of points off turnovers. Now a timeout called by the Lakers. Horford's checked in for White. Hachimura has checked in for Los Angeles. And now a look at the teams who excelled at rebounding over the last month. In the third spot, the Celtics. And last month, this team was active on the glass. Really put forth an effort to box out and track down misses. finds James. It's Prince on the wing. Their offense stone cold. Another miss there. On the wing, Holiday. Guarded by Russell. Outside Tatum. Davis with the defensive effort. And so Prince will bring it up for Los Angeles. It's a three-point game. 
Davis, the pass to Prince. Hachimura outside. Davis down low, defended by Porzingis. Davis misses. Boy, nine times out of ten, that's going in. I'm sure he surprised himself with the miss. Pass to Brown. To the paint. Second chance effort. And Porzingis with a layup. Porzingis has got nine points now in the quarter. Well, I absolutely love the way this guy has controlled the pace tonight. Time They've out, been able out. to play the style they want. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. We got a quick moment to take a look at the long-term rebounding numbers over several seasons for Christian Wood. It's not a great trend for him. Not rebounding nearly as effectively anymore. Maybe it's his effort. Who knows? But that's something that needs to change. Tatum against Prince. Here's Davis. Fires the jumper from the corner and nails it. Davis has got 13. When you watch Torrey and Prince play, you know it's about team. This guy finds the open man and loves delivering it. Holiday against Russell. Now here's Holiday. Defense right on him. And he scores it. Now five of nine from the field. Just so successful getting the ball inside and finding those great looks. The Lakers have gone cold here in this third quarter. Just three of nine. It's Prince on the wing. Holiday against Russell. Pass to Achimura. Russell is green on Horford. Just five to shoot. On the wing, Davis. The shot from 20 feet out. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Cornette's checked in for Boston. Pritchard comes in for Tatum. Vanderbilt's checked in for the Lakers. Christie comes in for Prince. Here are the Celtics with the ball. They're on a 17-7 run. Outside Holiday. Green by Horford. Goes up with the strike. Vanderbilt pulls it in. Vanderbilt's got five rebounds in the game. Christie passes to Davis. Oh, can't tie it up as that one misses. Here's Brown on the drive. Pass to Cornette. Outside Holiday. That's a six make and 11 tries. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. Outside Russell. Here's Christie. Davis with a screen on Holiday. Christie passes to Davis. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. You can't let Davis get established positioning inside. If he does, you have to foul him. And he knocks down the first one. And the Celtics making a change here. Hauser's checked in. Both free throws good from Davis. This is what makes him a challenge to stop. He will beat you from the floor, and he can also beat you from the line. There's a minute 47 left to play in the third quarter here. Brown with it. Hachimura covering. Counted. Brown's got 11 points. Well, that's where you use your athleticism and agility of your Jalen Brown navigating to a high percentage look. Pass to Christie. Here's the three. Nails it from beyond the arc. Well, the defense daring him to shoot, and he makes them pay for their disrespect. Here's Pritchard. Give him eight points now. Now here's Brown. Screen by Horford. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Jared Vanderbilt picks one up. You have to have the ability to force the defense to commit one way or the other. Jalen Brown's aggressiveness does just that. And both free throws good for Brown.
A minute six left in the third quarter. Here's Huchifino. Hasn't gotten one to fall yet. Inside. Outside Vanderbilt for the tie. And Pritchard pulls it down. One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless abandon. Brown with it, and Davis picks him up defensively. Well, Jalen Brown getting better and better in pick-and-roll situations. There's a real willingness to give up the basketball. 29 seconds left in the third quarter. Out to Achimura. Davis down low, working on Cornet. And the basket by Hachimura. Boy, if Rui Hachimura can consistently make three-point shots, he becomes that much more dangerous. And here's Brown for three. Bullseye! Jalen Brown! Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. Pass to Christie with two seconds left. Ooh, he released it in time, but it's off the mark. And we've reached the end of the third. Celtics out in front. They're up by five. And fourth quarter basketball will be coming your way on 2K Sports right after this. Locked in a very close contest. This fourth quarter promises to be a good one. Here's Benton. Tatum and Horford, the duo at forward. Delano Benton out there with Peyton Pritchard. And it's Cornette in at the center position. That's who's in the game for the Celtics. Here's Benton. Horford, a screen on Achimura. Five to shoot. Tatum can't hit. I'll tell you, even though he's not playing his best basketball, the team has played well and picked it up. I love it. And it's James inside. Vintage LeBron James. He's cooking, and this guy may be the best to have ever done it. And here's Tatum. Pass to Ben. Tatum looking it over. There's the triple. Goes back up. Cornette with the bucket. And the Celtics lead by five. Boy, when he's this deep, it's going to be tough to stop him, especially with a smaller defender. Here's James. And he lays it up and in. James has got 27 points. This is where LeBron James is so dangerous. Physically hard to handle on the interior. Turn the lights out. It's going to be on LeBron James. That's his first foul. Hauser, he's checked in for Boston. First team foul. Now into the lineup for the Celtics. Number three, Sam Hauser. Pass to Pritchard. Screen by Horford. Here's Pritchard. James gets a hand on it. And a moment to check out who the Boston Celtics have coming up. On Sunday, they'll be matching up against Steven Adams and the Memphis Grizzlies. Then on Wednesday, they'll be playing against Clint Capella and the Atlanta Hawks. Looking at this stretch, they should have little issues beating most of their opponents. They just need to keep the intensity up and avoid playing down to their competition. Now, here is James. Vanderbilt with a screen. Out to James. Shot clock at three. LeBron on the go. And that one's good. That's 29 for him. Well, 6'8", 250 pounds. You're going to have to do more than that to stop LeBron. On the wing, Tatum. From outside the arc. Austin again missing. 
And just unable to get anything going tonight. I mean, his teammates have really bailed him out. We're in the fourth quarter here. Just under two and a half minutes gone by. Horford against James. Pass to Vanderbilt. And they're going to count that bucket, and they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. And after getting smoked earlier in this game, they battled back to take the lead. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Lakers. Yeah, what stood out to me was their passing. They moved the ball effortlessly and have been able to find those holes in the defense. Boy, the long ball has been another point of emphasis for this group tonight. Their shooters are finding open spaces and firing time without out, hesitation. Out. Timeout called. The Celtics. You got to like what we're seeing from LeBron James. With the way he's cooking, they have to find a way to run him off his spot more. Attention fans, now on the court is your hunt squad. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Over the break, I listened in on Joe Mazzulla's huddle. He was very upbeat and positive, saying to his guys, let's go, let's go. I want you guys to up the pace. Look to push the ball up the floor whenever you can. They cannot stop us in transition. Let's see how the team responds. Guys? Okay, thanks, Allie. If you're just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. Pass to Tatum. To end the run. Out to Horford. Parked it down low that time. Got hit with the three-second call. Tough one. In a game where every possession is valuable, turnovers can make the difference. For Los Angeles, they've got all four shots to go in this final quarter. James against Holiday. Wood, a screen on Holiday. James passes to Wood. And Wood with the stuff. Well, just tremendous timing on the play. And what a finish by Christian Wood. Boston's gone 0 for 3 here in the fourth. Here's Pritchard, guarded by Russell. to Holiday. Six to shoot. Horford, a screen on James. Here's Holiday. No good. A bit long that time. He's got a great defensive mind. He gets good position and affects the release. And he did it without fouling, and that's become an art. Changing shots without making contact. Well, the vertical threat because of the length that Christian Wood brings to the table. And it's Tatum with the ball for the Boston Celtics. Pass to Holiday. The three. Rebound by the Lakers. Vanderbilt's got his eighth rebound here tonight. This guy cannot get started, and the offense overall has been a struggle because of it. And it's Hachimura missing. Boston trailing. Here's Pritchard. Right side, Holiday. Horford, a screen on Achimura. Boston again missing. Since hitting two triples in the first half, he's been non-existent from out there. Pass to Russell. Back to James. This one for three. The rebound, Celtics. In the first half, he was on fire from range, but he hasn't knocked one down since. To the paint. Here's Cornette. They get back on track. And he takes that one up and powers it through. <laughs> and when the game is this close, you have to go all out. He certainly understands his role, huh? When the shot goes up, just crashes the offensive glass. And that's so demoralizing to your opponent. To play great defense and have the possession end that way, that's tough to take. The Lakers with the ball. Following the bucket by the Celtics. Hey! That one's good. James. Deep into the game, you rely on players like him to keep delivering. 
Holiday against James. And it's in there. Terrific night for Holiday so far. And I have to pin it on his energy. He's given this game all he's got. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. Some changes for Boston. Porzingis has checked in for Cornette. Jalen Brown comes in for Horford. And it's White in for Pritchard. Los Angeles has gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. Back to Russell. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. If they keep hitting free throws at this clip, it'll help them seal the deal. Free throw is good from Russell. And to me, the ceiling that D'Angelo Russell has is really high. This guy is dynamic. He's confident. He can score it. And he's just going to... ...continue to want to prove himself. Prince against Brown. Let's it go from deep. Oh, that bucket gives him his seventh field goal in 12 tries. Now, Jalen Brown is now so legit from deep. Boy, you better make sure you're contesting that three ball. That's how good he is. Now, here is James. Pass to Reeves. And here's Russell. Puts up a three. Holiday grabs the miss. Absolutely tenacious, guys. Stuck right on him defensively. Bothered that shot. Here's Brown. Oh, got a piece of it. Stolen by Russell. By himself. And then Russell with the dunk. And this guy becoming more of a two-way threat. It's all about D'Angelo Russell's activity level. Really nice sequence right there. Now here's White. Here's Tatum. Oh, and it's Tatum finishing it off inside. Well, Jason Tatum in a big moment. He is unafraid. The Lakers with the ball. Next up, the Knicks in New York. That'll be game five for them as they near the end of a six-game trip. Well, what he lacks in size for a typical center, he makes up for with all that athleticism. Boy, can he elevate. Holiday up top, guarded by Russell. Tatum from long range. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Holiday. Tatum's got five points in the quarter. Puts one in the eye of the defense. First triple of the evening. Here's Reeves, defended by Brown. French can't hit. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's the shot he typically makes. Stolen by Russell. And it's the Lakers on the break. Davis with room to shoot. And again, it's the Lakers. What an emphatic bucket by Davis. This is a guy who never backs down or gives up. James with a steal. An open look for Russell. Again, the Lakers. And you can feel the temperature rising in this arena. Both teams pouring it on offensively. There's been a bit of a flurry here late, and this game may come down to which side gets a stop or two. Oh, target from range. Brown's got 13 in the second half. You can tell Jalen Brown embraces these kinds of moments. Big time bucket. Boy, left it right in the sweet spot with the lob. Nicely done. Now that's a textbook alley-oop. I thought he'd go for the slam, but that worked. Holiday passes to Tatum. And the Celtics another three. The rise and fire by Jason Tatum. Ready to catch it and score it immediately. Here's James. Holiday grabs the miss. You gotta move past that one. I mean, they'd want him to take that again. And they should, because it's when you start turning down that kind of look that your offense can start to bog down a bit. Here's Reeves, and he banks in the layup. Nice dribble move to get to the hoop for an easy two. And so it's Holiday who brings up the ball for the Boston Celtics. Trailing by five, Porzingis. And it's Boston scoring again. Aggressiveness and the swagger that Persingas has to take that shot. Such a clutch play from the Latvian. Well, the defense flat out awful right there, and he couldn't punish them for their mistake. Tatum against Davis. Outside Tatum. Pass to Brown. Down to five on the shot clock. To tie it up. 
Money. Oh, a tremendous three. We're tied. And the stakes were high right there. What a bucket. I'll tell you, that changes things, doesn't it? Good job, young fella. What a game. The Lakers call timeout. Thirty-four seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's James, and he buries it. King James with ice water in his veins, an absolutely breathtaking player. And the Celtics call time here. They're down by two. And we've got 28 seconds left in the final quarter. And we've got 28 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Outside Holiday to take the lead. Oh, he buried the three. Holiday shining through. Wow. Awesome to see him come up big like this. Here's James. Pass to Prince. The three is up. Can't knock in the three. Well, you love to see LeBron go to the window and set the tone with his rebound, and that is nicely done. And Boston calls time here. They're losing by one. We've got 13 seconds left in the fourth quarter. All right, guys, what do you think? It's always interesting to see what play a coach has saved for a situation like this. What you want is to create a clean, high-percentage look, if that's at all possible. Here's Holiday. The all or nothing shot attempt falls offline. And so it's the Lakers who scrape by with the win. With the late victory, they upset plenty of these hometown fans. They really should take this win to heart. When the pressure was on, they stepped up and worked twice as hard to overcome it. All right, let's go courtside to Allie LaForce with our player of the game. Allie, it's all yours. All right, guys, LeBron, a superstar matchup tonight. What goes through your mind when you're facing that kind of a challenge? You know, for me, it's never about an individual challenge um, or an individual game. It's about the team. Now, you do take the challenge anytime you're going against anybody, but you also got to have your mind in the game, too, and not make it personal. So taking the challenge, making sure your mind is in the right frame, and uh, just trying to make plays for your teammates to be successful. Thanks, LeBron. Back to you. Allie, thank you as always. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Doris Burke, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, and our entire crew, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in. Now it's time for the New Balance Player of the Game, LeBron James. <laughs>